are putting a coat of anti-corrosive on this sculpture to keep the stainless steel from ever picking up any little flaws. And the material we're using is my favorite. There are others. This is LPS3. And it goes on with a nice waxy sort of coat that's durable. If your sculpture has a rusty metal base, you will need to maintain your finish with a equal part mix of boiled linseed oil and paint thinner mixed together and applied with a small rag. Do not let the finish build up, but apply a thin, even coat. Okay. Okay, so to service the bearings, we need to take the sculpture apart. This should be done once a year. If not, there will be a tendency for rust to form inside the cylinder that the bearings slip up in, and they won't come out easily. So here we go. To take this one of these off, you need to wiggle it right around the perfect alignment, and it will slide off. Okay, what we're operating here with to grease these bearings and the receiver tube is a toothbrush. Not your everyday use one, but one that's old and you've saved. And bicycle grease is excellent. It has a low rolling resistance and coats water tight fairly well. So one thing we're going to do here is grease the inside of this tube. And this is more of a corrosion avoidance issue than it is lubrication. And Okay, so the other part of lubing the bearings and protecting them is we daub grease all over everything on these. In particular, you want to get this, the one exposed surface, and any and all surfaces here. Once again, more as a rust preventative than a lubricant as the bearings are already internally lubricated. Okay, so after servicing the bearings, we need to put it back together, and that's less of a challenge than taking it apart. Once again, though, it requires that we find that perfect alignment, and it's there somewhere. Even I have trouble, and there it is. Voila! Cut. Now, okay. at any time. Okay. Get over here close. I see it. So, this particular servicing is on a sculpture that is not on its actual base, so it's much closer to the ground, <coughs> easier for me to access. You will probably have to stand on some kind of small scaffolding or something to take it apart. But you can do it. I've already started. Okay. It's important to get the retainer all the way up in the tube and then tighten this small Allen screw just barely snugly. Don't over tighten it or you will tweak the bearings. Okay. As the final move after you've reassembled your sculpture to make sure that the really pesty rust does not occur around this area, I recommend taking your LPS3, which you've rubbed on the outside of the stainless steel, and with the little red squirt tube, you coat the inside of the exposed metal receiver. And then, if you don't happen to take it apart every year, you probably won't be stymied. Good luck.